Welcome to the Kingdom Beard Co. Review. Oh, yeah. So today I'm going to be reviewing Kingdom Beard Co. Um, talked to Joel many times. Uh, first found out about him a while back. Got to try him out with a really great special on one of his lives. If you guys don't know about that, when he goes live, he's often doing specials. He's doing specials really a lot of the time. Um, which is pretty awesome considering the quality that you're getting here. Um, shout out to Kurt Cobain today. Um, I didn't do this day of, but uh, recently it was the 25th year anniversary of his passing. Um, always thinking of you, man. Uh, inspired by your creativity, um, as I'm sure many of us are. All right. So, let me get into things... Uh, and go over the scents that I have and everything. Um, I love the logo. It's just clean and straight and to the point. That says kingdom to me. You know, a shield with swords crossed against it. That's pretty sick. Um, so the first uh, two scents that I purchased uh, were the sword and the uh, warhammer, um, which are two that I thoroughly uh enjoyed they sounded amazing as far as the scent profiles um the sword is a tea tree and you call it a tea tree and clove blah, 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 blah. good thing this is only a one shot one take thing right all right so i'm gonna shake that one up and give it a whiff um let's do that so this is Tea tree and clove. Um, I love clove. When I uh, used to smoke regularly, I would smoke uh, clove cigarettes. <sighs> I love that smell. Together, it's just super like invigorating, like intense. Um, it's 100% essential. Um, so you guys know it's good. Um, just high quality here. Um, the balm. Yeah, and you can see that I've used it. <sighs> Smells really good. And then this one is called the Warhammer. And it is a peppermint, uh, grapefruit, and uh, tea tree as well. And the scent on this one is unlike anything I've ever smelt. Um, uh, Super duper refreshing, super duper tasty in the beard. Um, so as you guys know, with essentials, you're going to have to reapply uh, throughout the day if you want to keep that nose whiff, if you want to do that um, right up in here in that action. This is actually what my beard looks like, 100% natural after it's dried out of the shower. You can see that that is, that is the real deal holy field there. Um, and then... Um, he was nice enough to uh, have me review this, um, and this is called the Coat of Arms. And to me, just without opening that, I'm going to do it, but just to me, this <laughs> smells like Lemon Loaf from Starbucks. Um, if anybody out there has had Lemon Loaf from Starbucks, we know how amazing that smells, especially when you put a little heat on it, nuke it for about 30 or whatever you need to do there. It's just unreal. So I have that in the... Butter, um, which I have not used yet, but I have used the oil and balm. And you can see that. And, I mean, Starbucks lemon loaf all freaking day, man. And I love that stuff. Um, it pair well with my metal band cup and coffee here mm -hmm. tasty time um so what i'd like to do um is just put some in while you're on video and let you experience what i'm experiencing through the magic of technology um sound good okay cool so uh what i'm thinking is since you know it's my day off i kind of want to Chill, I don't have anyone to impress, um, and I want to deep condition this sucker because it's feeling a little dry. 
after the washes. I'm going to use some butter for the first time on camera, and this is authentic reaction. Cool? Cool. All right. Well, it's happening anyway, so... There you go. Man. Now my beard, like I said in my last video, is a drinker. It'll drink the hell up out of everything. Oh my God. Seriously, dude. Joel, come on, man. This smells so freaking good. Mmm. Seriously, you want to eat this stuff. Like, eat this butter right now. I just want to uh, bathe in this. <laughs> Don't forget this show, Patch. All right, so... Look at this. Just, mmm. Nice. Very nice. Yep, I use some. And the smell is fantastic. The feel is fantastic. Um, I've worn a stuff in beard a couple times each scent, and it makes my beard feel healthy um, and smells good. Um, and yeah. If you want the scent to stay, since it's all essential, you're going to have to reapply. But if it's a good product, what the hell? Do that. Because what is it going to hurt? Um, Let's say nothing. It's not going to hurt anything. So let me get that in there. Do my thing. Where I comb up. Just to get it through all the hair. And I go back down. So that's cool. All right. Then I get my comb. I don't know about y'all, but that's a sexy ginger beard right there. And it's looking healthy as sh snap with this stuff in there. Now, this is that metal guy, um, 1983, and I enjoy this stuff. If you value my opinion, then go get some. I would recommend it for just the way it smells and makes my beard feel. And the pure fact that this smells like Lemon Loaf, uh, when I put these others in, the sword, the Warhammer, I thoroughly enjoy them. Uh, he does also like heavy duty oils and as far as you things you can order. Um, look at his line. His merch looks really freaking cool too. Um, and yeah, I would say definitely uh, your support to a good guy. Um, and uh, he's got that whole tatted up metal look thing going. You know, I got my. Grim Reaper, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that, but that's something I recently got done. Yeah, so not only do I listen to it, I also put it permanently on my skin. You know, I got the Avenged Sevenfold Death Bat. I've got the quasi tribute to uh, Dimebag Daryl with the cowboy hat with the bullets, the uh, M Shadow sunglasses, the Metallica shirt, the scary guy skull in there, and then in the smoke. If you guys can't see it, it does say simple, man. I made that video. But keep on rocking. Peace, love, and understanding. Again, peace, love, and understanding. Spread that message. Let's build each other up. Let's have a rocking freaking rest of this week. Let's support each other. Have a great day. This is awesome community. I love you guys. Yeah.